Hello and welcome back to another video. I know this video is a little bit late, but trust me, it is worth it because I have some very, very exciting news to share with you. I got myself a new computer. So now I'll be able to play any game I want without sacrificing quality for the YouTube videos. Okay, it's for the spec. The CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. It has eight cores and 16 threads. So it's gonna handle gaming and video rendering extremely well. That's part of the reason why I went with AMD instead of Intel. Because yes, Intel, its 10th gen, is much faster. I went with AMD because there's more threads, so the game could take as many cores and threads as it needs, and OBS all what it needs. For the CPU cooler, is the NZXT Kraken Z something, Z60 something, I can't remember its exact name. There's gonna be a lot of NZXT parts because I went with their BLD service for the motherboard ASUS ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Hero. The RAM is the Team Group T Force. What it is it is 16 gigabytes, so two sticks of eight gigs, 3200 megahertz. So I mean, it's a pretty good upgrade from what I had, which was four gigabytes, one stick, when that was 1333 megahertz. The graphics card I will come back to later. The front fans are the NZXT Air fans, spelled A E R. I don't know why has an E. There's two RGB strips with one on the bottom, one on the top that you can't really see that well. I'm not sure where the exact name of the exhaust fans, I'm assuming they're from NZXT. The case is a NZXT 510 Elite in white. I wanted the black oh, and I got the white instead. I'll come back to why in a few minutes. For the boot SSD that I have Windows on is a Samsung 970 Evo Plus. NVMe. It has a read speed of 3500 megabytes a second and 3300 megabytes a second for write. So incredibly fast. That's going to have all important stuff like Windows, OBS, Vegas Pro, games that I play fairly regularly. Basically anything important I need to load quickly, it's on last drive. For the games I don't play as often or extremely big like Grand Theft Auto 5, which is like 87 gigabytes. I have a Western Digital SATA SSD, it's one terabyte. It's still much faster than a normal hard drive, but nowhere near the speeds of an NVMe. For all my YouTube files, I have a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive. Power supply, the NTXT C1000 Gold, 1000 watt power supply, which is 80 plus gold. And now, for the most impressive thing of all. The graphics card, Asus, ROG, Drix, GeForce, RTX 3080. That's why I went with the white case instead of waiting for the black case. The 3080s and 3090s are an extremely low supply. So I got the 3080 with the white case. Worst case scenario, I switch to a black case later or cover the white with something dark. And now we need to get into some game performance. As you can see, I am playing Subnautica on all high settings. I received an average frame rate in this session about 131. That's more than 100 FPS than what I had on like a really low resolution on all low settings. This is a Cinebitch R15 run which I have done in real time. No editing has been done to it whatsoever. And so as you can see my score I believe is an 18 something. I can't remember exactly what it is. Obviously much better than my old one. As you can see in Fish and Bear and Sea, I'm only getting about like 80 or so FPS. But also keep in mind that the graphics card isn't being fully utilized, so I'm not getting 100% of the frames that I normally would. In conclusion, this brand new computer will help me be able to make more content for you guys to enjoy and much higher quality as well. There's only one slight issue that I have with it, and it's nothing you know, major, that the light on the power button does flicker. It does get kind of annoying, but besides that, everything is great. And now, I hope I can make something amazing for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.